Hello, Internet, and welcome to another adventure of Mr. Jammy Bastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. Okay, so in our last adventure, we finished that quest helping Jason Bright and his ghouls sail off into the far beyond. And we also stuck around Novak to do a couple of quests. Um, we helped kill a Nightkin who was uh, killing a uh, Brahmin for a rancher. We um, avenged Boone's dead wife. Well, we got the person who um, sold her on. And we also helped the town of Good Springs finally fend off the um, powder gangers. Now, the reason why we're in the graveyard is because um, I was cleaning up the mess of the firefight we just had. And also managed to loot um, the Powder Ganger's bodies and sell on their gear to chat. Oh, and guess what? Joe Cobb had a stealth boy. <sighs> well, at least now I can remember that for next time. Now, the reason why we're in the graveyard is because last episode we bought a shovel off Chet. And now that we've got a shovel, we can do this. Let's go grave robbing! What we're going to do for this playthrough, we're going to jump back to a couple of places um, that we've already visited because I n know I've missed some... Um, valuable um, items to pick up now that I've uh, looked over the um, um, footage I've already recorded. Okay. Go to the Yangshi Memorial. No scorpions around, are there? No. Okay. Shit! Nice one, Veronica. You stung. As if she's stung, she's fucked, basically. Alright, I'll take those. And more graves to dig up. Nothing. Ooh. Laser rifle. Um, no. Nothing. Right, okay. Um, before we do that... Service rifle. Submachine gun. Yeah, let's use the submachine gun. We're gonna jump to the um, Nevada Highway Patrol Station because there's a skill book in there I missed. Right. Let's see if there's any um, jackals or viper gunslingers, whatever the hell they're called. And there we have a copy of Guns and Bullets. Guns increased by four. Now I know in my last video I said that I enjoyed the long walks through the wasteland, but uh, if you're doing a Let's Play, they're um, incredibly bit boring to watch. And also, you... Um, tend to not do much in the long run. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to fast travel to the 188. And we're going to go see a salesman for the gun runners. Just That's just below this bridge.
Gonna talk to Alex. Have you seen what one of those anti-material rifles can do to a death? Yes, I have. I've played this game numerous times. Man, I love my guns. Okay, hello. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? I'd like to see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. So, you're a gun runner? <laughs> like you have a clue what that even means. I figure a guy like you gets his pick of killing gear. You might be onto something. I like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. <laughs> God, he's loaded. Assault carbine. Carbine shotgun, carbine repeater, service rifle. Carbine rifle. 44 revolver scope. 12.7mm SMG stacks magazine. Now, I've only used a 12.7mm SMG a total of like three times out of all my playthroughs of this game. It's an alright weapon, but um, I, I can't really get behind it. I don't know what it is. Um, let's see. Um, uh, we're not going to get the custom action. Um, let's see what ammo wants. Ah, uh, 4570 Govt. You need those for the uh, hunting revolver. Take some of those. And we'll take all your armor piercing bullets. Hmm. We, now we do have a mini gun. I'll take 59 caps worth of 5 mils. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Tell me about the Gunrunners. The Gunrunners have been putting rapid-fire death-dealing in the hands of anyone who needed to defend himself for over a century. We're the NCR's number one supplier of weapons and ammunition. You might call us an unofficial branch of the army. What do you do? I'm a salesman. I swing through McCarran and the dam once a week or so to take orders. But lately, I spend most of my time in this piss heap. Ever since the 15 shut down, all caravans come through here, right to me. I check the stock and direct deliveries onward to meet orders. Sure, it stinks to hang out here, but it won't be forever. Plus, I can afford a monthly bender on the strip and still build up my nest egg. Later. Okay. It's amazing what passes for a firearm around here. You'd be better off throwing rocks. <laughs> no. There's another uh, weapons merchant up there. She's um, ex NCR um, army, and she mainly deals in um, high explosive ordnance like missiles and stuff. But we're not going to go see her. Instead, we're going to travel on to the to um, Freeside. Our adversary has clipped into the rock. Just discovering a few more locations. And that's Camp Golf over there, but we're not going to go there yet. Pick up some prickly pear fruits. Followers outpost. The Grub and Gulp, yeah, should be up here. There's the Grub and Gulp. Good place to buy water.
Merchant. Hey there. Need anything? I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Here's what I've got. Laser pistol, recycler. Well, you don't have much. Uh, uh, I'll take that Brahmin steak. Jacks. Because as a rule, when it comes to chems or certain types of chems, I only keep a maximum of five doses on me. Medics. Sell those mentats. Sell all that psycho. Sell that turbo. That seems legit. Okay. Onwards. Aerotech Office Park. Sharecropper farms. Is there something I can do for you? Um, what do you do around here? I'm a private in the NCR army, and I've been proudly serving for two years now. Although, if you were to ask what I'm doing right this instant, I'm patrolling the farms. It's a safe post, but a little boring. I do get to take shots at marauding mole rats every once in a while, and that's always fun. Tell me about the farms. It's NCR-owned farmland. It produces a lot of the crops that supply McCarran and the dam. The farmers are all civilians, though. They work the farms, and in return, they get a safe place to stay and clean food and water. Some of them aren't all that grateful, though. Bye. And there's the gun runners. Hello, potential customer. Right. Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Um that submachine gun, those frank ones. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. I've got such a sheet gun. And all those weapons. Oh, you made a good... Now we're over 4,000 caps. Uh, what have got in the way of mods? Let's buy a mod. Extended mag. Working on a pistol. Hunting rifle custom action. Shotgun choke. Light machine gun expanded drums. Service rifle forge receiver. Okay, I'll take that. What is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners. 
supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Goodbye. Come back and see us again soon. Okay, so now we've got a mod for the surface rifle. So, highlight it, X, left click, and we're done. Right, now we're going to go to Freeside. Freeside's East Gate. And here we are in the slum on the way to New Vegas proper. Right, gonna talk to Dixon. Hello there. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? Have a look, baby. Um, I'll buy all your fixer and I'll buy a bottle of whiskey. Pleasure doing business with you. Talk to you later. Veronica. Uh, oh. Freeside Townies. Oh. We're going to go down this alleyway. I know we're going to be ambushed if we go down here, but I'm not scared. Here, which has shown us the dead body by the dumpster. Whoa, machete. Uh, the next place we're going to go is the Old Mormon Fortress. It's a place to put our heads down for the night. And it will also um, trigger another speech prompt from Veronica. hub for the followers of the apocalypse who were also um, first introduced in uh, Fallout 1 uh, talk to Julie hello Julie Fox are you here to drop off medical supplies leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard what is this place the old Mormon fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the apocalypse I am the administrator for this region who are the followers of the Apocalypse? We arose from the Boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the Wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. <gasps> Hippie communists! <laughs> no, I kid, I kid. Um... Yeah, basically... They are trying to rebuild um, the wasteland, but they're trying to do it a different way from, say, the NCR or Caesar's Legion. They believe that the only way that the wasteland can change is through the actions of the individual, not of the greater whole, if that makes any sense. So they try to educate people to say, you know, you know, now that you're clever enough, Maybe, you know, you'll stand a better chance of surviving and continuing on the human race. Just don't repeat the mistakes of the past. 
if that makes sense. Okay. What do you do here? The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here. But the Kings quickly took control of the pump. Ah oh, yes, the Kings. The street gang of Elvis impersonators. What do you want to talk about? Um, let's... Let's talk about Freeside. What did you want to know? Who are the Kings? They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so. Ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. Usually, the King wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. What's all the fuss about the water pump? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. Let's talk about something else. You need medical supplies? Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. What do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Which merchants might be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrett's, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. You've got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. What do you want to What we're going to do, we're going to go into this tower here, and we're going to get our third snow globe. Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. Ah! Speech prompt for Veronica. You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. Our training is top-notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. We always make enemies, never allies. We refuse to recruit outsiders, or see the value in their simpler technologies. Why don't you do something about it? I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. What are your goals? I want... a dress. A dress? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. That's your goal. You want a nice dress. Hey, you try getting a date wearing scribe robes. Might as well be wearing sweatpants. I just like them, you know? They make you feel like a woman. Those ladies before the war, they knew what they were doing. I want to discuss other things. Ooh, got any juicy gossip? See you around. Okay. Now we've got a third snow globe. That's 12 grand. We're going to pick up from Mr. House. 12 grand. Okay, what is the time? 9.24 p.m.
down to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Will do, small wasteland child. The King's School of Impersonation. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. What we're going to do, we will go in the Silver Rush in the morning. What's your problem, lady? Hmm. Talk to James. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh. Do you have anything for sale? Sure. Take a look. Beer, whiskey, wine. Bye. Oh, gonna need a room. Welcome to the Atomic Ra uh, uh, I'd like a room. Just a few caps and it's yours. Here you go. Up the steps, last room on the left. If you leave the Wrangler, we'll assume you're checking out. Uh, what goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Fair enough. Later. Uh, we're going to ex exchange our NCR money for caps. Hello there. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Uh, NCR money. Oh. Here's your chip. Here's your chips. Why can't you just have take all the NCR dollars I have? Is there anything? Now we're gonna play a couple of rounds of, couple of hands of blackjack. Have a seat and give Lady Luck a chance. Okay, how many? Okay, how many do we have? 272. Uh, what's the maximum bet? 200. Uh, okay, uh, decrease. Don't want that much. Okay. Don't leave here with less than 200. Deal. Okay, I'm gone. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. In what could like my payout in caps. Caps it is. Yep. Good day. How's it going? Oh, let's play a couple of hand rounds of blackjack. It just black oh, Dino got blackjack on the first hand. I was like, uh no. You're trying to shaft me. Wait, hang on. I can't sleep. Oh, this is McCaffrey's room. I can't flip in stay in there. Yeah, it's this one. Shut up! <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Okay. Now we're going to get the third and final speech prop for Veronica. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas's best source of laser and plasma weapons. Now he's going to ask to um, uh, take away all our weapons before we can go in. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. Only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Okay, search away. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Goodbye.
bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to see what you have for sale. Of course. Laser RCW. Hmm. Anti plus rifle. Plasma defender. Charger pistol. Oh, that's a uh, Gatling laser. Plasma caster. Twenty-eight grand. Then again, I will be able to afford it at the end of all of this. But you don't have any, um... Plasma grenades. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll take some, um... 40mm pulse grenades. Take eight of those. And we'll also take... Um, plasma as well. Thank you. Holy hell, that's a lot of energy weapons. Guess we dropped the ball on that one. Hey, you got a second? Uh, what is it? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong, or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I'll take you back there first chance I get. Great! Thanks! Thank you! I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Well, Jammy! Okay, now... We can, um, take, uh, Veronica back to the Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. And there's old Ben. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds... odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Hmm. 
Cryer, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Why? What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Wrong place at the wrong time, if you ask me. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. He became a gigolo. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. You got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Ladies, old Ben. Yep. You have entered a restricted area. Exterminate. Exterminate. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. I'll submit to the credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Now, there's a misconception that you have to pay the Securitron to get in. Uh, no. What he does, he scans your inventory to see if you've got enough caps. Because they won't let you into New Vegas unless, of course, you've got X amount of money. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Uh, Welcome to New Vegas. Uh, one second, Victor. There we go. So I don't want you two to have a go at me. Right, okay. Um, what are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. All right, I'll go there straight off. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting for you. The house always wins part one. That's it. Keep moving. I can barely see the street. Those last five shots were bad. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Okay. Come back soon now. Everybody's gonna awe in amazement. It's opening! Now, we're going to go straight up and see Mr. House. Where to, partner? A penthouse. That's the only way we can access more levels of the casino. Penthouse floor. And uh, here's Jane. Well, hello, sugar. 
Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. What is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. And who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. What's with the snow globe collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. What can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, Sugar, he's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neuro-computational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman. What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Let's talk about something else. Anything you like, sugar. I've got some snow globes for Mr. House's collection. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Oh, we only got 2,000 for them. <sighs> hmm. Maybe it's different in... Well, hang on. Hmm. I'm a bit complex, a bit perplexed, because I thought it I could have sworn it was four. We get four thousand. Okay. Um. No skills. How is Barter? All right. Okay. Um. Let's. Salesman's salesman's weekly. This is Mr. House. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? And Mr. House is voiced by the late René Auchenois, who also played Odo in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Um, I've never seen anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the Strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Shall we get down to business? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? It's a good start, but well below market price. Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Twelve fifty caps. I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? 
yes, I have some questions I want to ask. What did you wish to know? Who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. The lifespan, the the lifespan you're claiming is impossible, except for ghouls and super mutants. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Okay, let's talk about something else. What? Well enough. Be on your way. Okay. I don't appear. I don't need to go there. Yeah, well, anyway. I was a little bit uh, perplexed about um, the, the reward we get for the snow globes. I could have sworn we get four grand. But no, we just get two. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Cheers, Victor. We're at casino level. Casino floor. Right, I'm just going to do some quick rummaging. Fire cabinets. Take those. Take those. And this is where all the good stuff is. Here, gold gloves, and a copy of Boxing Times. Hard turn. Mm -hmm. Now we go to the tops and deal with Benny. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Hmm. Right. Hmm. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to the important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that the new California Republic is an honourable nation engaged in a ben beneficent mission in the Mojave in general and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Uh, allow me to reassure you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, blah, 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 blah. God bless the New California Repub Republic. 
blah blah blah. Right. Ah. That one must be important around here. Check that out. He just left the lucky. Come on. Time to get lucky. Damn. And he looks good to me too. Somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it! I've been in love with the same woman for 17 years. If my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. No! <laughs> my cousin and his wife are a fastidious couple. She's fast and he's hideous. Hush, hush, hush. My wife's not... Right, the Tops Casino. Let's go see Benny. Get the story moving. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? What is there to do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. All right. Let's go see, um... Benny. There he is. Oi, shit cunt. What in the goddamn... Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Uh, give me one good reason not to kill you. You want a reason? How about four? They're called bodyguards, and every one of them is packing. Me too, so baby makes five. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed, and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. I want the platinum chip, and I want it now. I can't do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper, complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Well, answer my questions now, not later. It can't work like that, baby. Not out in public like this. You really need me to spell that out? What did you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Actually, yeah. Two conditions. Lose the bodyguards and we both go to the suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. No sudden moves around the boss, got it? Okay. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Um, yeah, call it luck and... Mm, yeah, call it luck and leave it at that. Don't give him any details. Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled strings. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? 
Seems you dropped something at Boulder City. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? I've got questions, a bunch of them. You got questions, I got answers. First things first, tell me about the platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. How, what does the chip do? It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How's the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. The chip belongs to me. Hand it over. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one, but the chip sticks with me. What's your offer? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up, you'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Fuck it, humor him. Deal. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Here's a start on your retainer. Don't spend it all in one place, and the prez is yours for as long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. And she moved fruits. Fresh apple. Fresh pear. Fresh apple. Fresh new fruits. That, that, and that. Not going to take the grenade rifle. Pugilism. Over here. Illustrated. Here. Had enough. I knew this was coming. You've got much nicer sunglasses. Um, take that. Can we repair? Yes, we can. Take the ammunition as well, we can always break that down. Some people. Because if we were a female character with the um, Black Widow probe, basically we just entice. Benny to come to bed with us and after he has sex with your character he just pisses off and 
I sense a hitman after you anyway. The cleaners will knock twice. Make sure they're thorough. I'm coming for you, Benny. What the fuck? How is my uh six five? Oh, feeling a bit hungry. Caravan lunch and some purified water. Okay, don't wear these openly around a casino. Right, sell those on. I will break down the um, ammo for them. Go to the Aces Theater and ask the bloke in the uh, eye patch where Benny went. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Have you seen Benny? Dig it, baby. He beat feet to his sweet. You scare the big boss man or something? Take it easy, baby. Okay. To suite on the thirteenth floor. Hello. It's right to the thirteenth floor. I'll take that. Ah. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't Actually, you? Actually, I've got something for you, Veronica. Aw, you shouldn't have. It's just my taste. Thank you. And there's Yes Man. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? Have you seen Benny? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. And we've leveled up. See you around. Okay. Um, going to put some points into... Medicine, um, repair, and survival. Okay. So if we get the swift learner perk, we can actually negate that um, minus 10% um, experience. And travel light. What else do we have? Scranger. Sneering Imperialist. Ah, strong back. That's a good perk to have. So. Now we've got to talk to Yes Man about where Benny's gone. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. 
As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Okay, thank you. What's Benny planning to do with the chip, then? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! You're very forthcoming with this information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? So, what is this place? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room. But that's okay. I'm not complaining. Hope to see you soon. Ah. The plot thickens. Before we leave the tops, we're going to talk to that uh, Tommy Torini guy in the uh, Aces Theatre. Hey. First, some salesman. Let's copy of salesman's weekly. Welcome back. Here for another fine entertainment experience? Tell me about the theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. What do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Make it 5% and you've got a deal. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right, 5% it is. Take it easy, baby. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct to our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Tell Kaisar I accept his invitation. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. The plot thickens even more. Uh -huh. And that seems like a convenient place to stop. 
I hope you're enjoying the Let's Play series so far. If you are, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. As usual, you can follow me on Twitter at SandyBFox. We will be going to Fortification Hill at some point in the next couple of episodes, but first, we're going to help out around Freeside. Tune in again next time for another exciting adventure of Mr. Chami Bastard, the luckiest son of a bitch who's ever walked the Mojave Wasteland. Same Fallout time, same Fallout channel. Bye.